How do you actually injure your arm? The arm? Yeah. It's all a direct result of the neck. The neck. Yeah. Now um, that actually happened in 89, your neck injury, right? Uh, the first one, when I was with WWF, uh, wrestling the Rockers, Madison Square Garden in the afternoon. Gennetti hooked me uh, for what's called a victory roll. Jumped up, legs go over the shoulders. He arches back, flips you through. Well, I didn't get tucked. Head, boom, right in the mat. Uh, that's the first break. Uh, I had a crack of the, I'm gonna say C5. Uh, actually had to wrestle that night in Boston. And that's all you had. But in those days, I mean, Boston was gonna be sold out. That was a big time payoff. You know, we were next to last on the card, right underneath Hogan. I wasn't missing that for the world. A lot of guys would have took. Your injury. Okay. Um, You're in Boston, you couldn't move. Yeah, uh, that was the first chink in the armor. Had to wrestle in Boston that night. Thank God, tag situation is your partner takes care of you. I don't think I even got in the whole match. Uh, then when I first came back in 90, wrestling the Steiners, Ole and I in Greensboro, the arm just went out, but this was the right arm now. Um, just crawling across the ring, I think I took a power slam or something. Um, the arm just died. The rear delt completely atrophied, bicep died, never came back. Um, that was a three month rehab, no surgery. Came back, was able to wrestle. Um, then right before Halloween Havoc, my neck had been, in 1997, my neck had been giving me fits, uh, really tight, just tight and gravel and just just brutal. I guess it was just chips moving around. Been broke a couple times at this point. The x-rays had shown there were a couple of the um, discs were completely herniated and this and that and the other. Doctors were saying quit, quit, quit. And, you take it with a grain of salt. Finally, the day before Halloween Havoc, I walked in the Gold's Gym in Las Vegas, grabbed a couple 30-pound dumbbells just to warm up, and apparently from locking the door in the parking lot to walking across that parking lot, a chip must have moved over a nerve canal and shut this hand down, my left hand, because when I grabbed those dumbbells like a nightmare, it just fell out of my hand. Boom, hit the floor. It's like one of those horrible dreams you look around, make sure you're awake, tried to pick it up, my thumb and the first two fingers were completely gone. And uh, we all think it's just a pinched nerve. That's what we're conditioned to as wrestlers. Didn't say anything. Uh, was unable to work out that day. Wrestled Luger. And uh, if you go back and watch the match, I had tape, you know, on fingers and everything, anything I could do to hang on. Um, had no use of the left hand. And uh, consequently, I wrestled that match and wrestled another probably two months, very limited. We are on a limited schedule, November and December. We didn't wrestle about six times in December. January, we went to, uh, my left hand just kept getting worse. It started to atrophy, and my arm started to atrophy through here. And I said, God, this is bad. I started having the, some tests run, and, Doctor said, uh, this is bad, this is bad. Uh, you need to stop, you need to stop. Finally, I was loose, lacing my boots up at a Disney taping and I was having a problem getting it through the eyelets and, and uh, Eric looked at me and said, what's the matter with your hand? I said, oh, it's been this way a couple of months, Eric. He said, take your boots off. He said, I want you to go get checked. I said, I have been checked. He said, what'd they say? They said, well, quit. So well, what do you want to do? I said, well, I don't know, I want to have this one last test. So I had another MRI and a CAT scan, and uh, diagnosis was 5, 6, 7, and T1. All the nerve canals were totally blocked. They had to go in. They went through the back. They split me from about halfway down my head to about 5 inches down my neck, and uh, went in and took all the bone chips out, all the flat bones that run perpendicular to the spine. They drilled them, took them out. Consequently, that ended it. How hard was it to deal with mentally? I wanted to die. Uh, 
the post-op pain, athletes have a high pain tolerance uh, just because we're hurt all the time. I've never experienced anything that was even remotely could scratch the surface. And I've torn my groin all the way up in my belly. Where I've been purple from my knee to right below my, you know, my chest. Just totally purple. Uh, broke ankles, uh, you name it, my neck, everything. I've never experienced anything like the post-op pain. I wanted to kill myself. I actually looked at my wife one day in the hospital. It was like the second day after surgery, and I said, the morphine wasn't working. They were giving me two Percocets and a blue Valium every two and a half hours, plus the every six minute drip wasn't even scathing. Hmm. I looked at my wife, I said, get, get my money man up here, I want to get everything in order, and uh, tell him I need to talk to him. I was actually going to blow my brains out in the hospital. Never experienced anything like it. Um, finally, um, pain started to subside the third day a little bit and it was bearable. Uh, that was the hardest part. Then uh, I still thought I'd wrestle again after I got out of the hospital. Once I got out of the hospital and started the road to recovery, I thought I can overcome this. Started coming back and started back in the gym about a month later. Three months later, I'd been training for a couple of months. A guy came up to me and slapped me in the back. Just said, hey, you know, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. Boom. I had a glass of, I had a thing of water in my hand, and it just fell out of my hand. And when the guy slapped me on the back, the jolt, system shutdown is all I can tell you, that went through my body. And this was just, just a little bitty guy. He just said, hey, double A, where you been? I hadn't seen you on TV. It just patted me on the back. That jolt told me, it's over. That moment in time was, was the realization and the biggest depression I've ever felt. That was four days before I had the retirement speech. It uh, natural. How emotional was that? I mean, that was real. It was the realest thing I've ever done in front of a camera. And uh, if I could have seen Rick's face, I'd have never got through the interview. Thank God I wasn't looking at him. I was looking at everybody but him. Um, to say goodbye to something that you've loved this much and it's all you've ever known. And not to know, you know, how you're going to feed your family. I mean, I had a, let's face it, I had a eight-month-old baby and a 11-year-old kid and a wife and uh, bills from now on. I was 38 years old. How are you going to, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, pretty scary. How did the company treat you? As far as good, good. I have I have no complaints. They, I was already had already moved into a agent position, as well as wrestling, which means I go to the house show towns and right. take care of the towns and everything. So I had a job to fall back on, and I was assured by Eric that, that hey, you got a job, don't worry about it. Um, that made me feel better. But the fact is, I'm a wrestler. I'm not an agent. You know, I'm not an announcer. I'm a wrestler. You take that away from me. And the worst part was I felt good other than every time I stepped off a curb getting this jolt or someone whacking me on the back, that, you know, my kid running up, me sitting on the edge of the bed and jumping on my neck, I'd get this jolt. And that's a three-year-old. Right. Um, I felt great other than that. It was just one of those things that it's hard to swallow. So there's, obviously there's no way to ever return no, I have no protection. Right. All the shock absorbers have been taken out. Now, anyone that knew me from 89 to 97, when you talked to me, it was Dean Malenko. You know, right. the whole upper body had to turn. Now, I have this, which I didn't have, and I'm 80% pain-free. I have bad days, good days, but I never had this. So there's a blessing underneath there, but still. Right. I would swap this for that if I could wrestle again. All right.